All right, here's a cool project. I hope everybody will appreciate this right here, which you're looking at. And this was done before you could buy Intigi or like those big dog trailers that you could, you know, order already pre-built out of steel. This is 100% one-off design, full aluminum and Delrin CNC machined trailer system that I designed a long time. I'd say about yeah, three to four years ago. I wanted my own trailer that would fit a 110 scale buggy, which it does very nicely. Um, I wanted something that looked really sharp um, with nice looking fenders. I had these are from the Tamiya trailers, um, semi trailer. It's been cut and narrowed and re and it's pretty seamless. You can't even tell. And then I painted it red. But that's the small part. Everything you see in black has been designed in CAD and CNC machined. Everything had to be dreamt up from scratch. This thing started as just nothing but four foot bars of U channel aluminum. A four foot by like three foot giant sheet of this plastic, um, not plastic, I'm sorry, this extruded aluminum material here, this, this platform material that I had to cut to fit to frame. So I basically started with the rectangle and the whole thing is screwed together. So I actually had to create special plastic inserts, CNC machine them to fit inside the channel to make sure this stuff doesn't move down. It's, it's Harder to explain than, than it is, I guess, to show. But anyway, I hope this is capturing one of my vision. Um, and then I had to come up with a, this is what a cool feature is. It's an ultra smooth, properly sprung, uh, dual axle trailer with independent dual links. Okay, so what we have here are dual links with built-in bump stops. It's hard to see, and I'm trying to figure out how to get it in the camera, uh, camera view. But these are dual link, parallel link suspension arms. So they have up stops and down stops. Um, and they're actually sprung properly. So when you put the weight of a vehicle on it, you actually put a little squat, but it also has room to go. So when you're going down the trails or going down the streets, this trailer just, you know, just moves just ever so perfect. The suspension's very reactive. It's not like a leaf spring. Those are way too stiff, oversprung um, trailers. Never like those. The cool thing about this too is not, uh, these are aero shafts that I had custom anodized in red. And then I have, again, design all these pieces in CAD, match this and whatever. And the one really cool feature that I'd like to show, if I can get it in the camera's view, um, like I said, I don't use any good equipment, I apologize. It hooks directly to the Jeep project that I had. Now, what's cool about that is, if I plug the Jeep project in, as a last item, I added um, LED lights that are powered from the actual battery that are part of the truck system. So when I plug the truck in, the trailer gets its power, so the winch is actually functional. So let's see if I can get over here and get this winch working. So I had to design the winch mount, all these components, everything that holds the winch, right down to the details that hold these spare wheels, the spare wheel carriers. All these parts had to thoughtfully be designed to fit perfect. You can you can you can't even feel the difference in width. And now you see the trailer lights here and there, and we turn this off. I don't know if that's going to be good or bad, but you can see the yellow lights there. I created uh, CNC machine uh, buckets for LEDs here. So I have red LED tail lights. And the coolest part, I think is the coolest part, is the living hinge Delrin system that I designed. Turn the light back on. So I usually hit one little lever and boom, drops down, drop down gate. And these parts here are parallel to when it's sitting level like it is right now, weighted or unweighted. This angle where my finger is is almost nearly parallel to the to the surface. So what's neat is I can actually take a doom buggy, set it here, and just pretend like it's broken down. And uh, you know it's kind of silly. So I've got my broken down doom buggy, and then I take the winch and then I hook it up to the uh, to get to the thing, and it actually has enough power to pull the buggy. Right up onto the old trailer. Whoops. That was silly. Took a little weird move on me. And now I can pull it up. Lock and load. So now I've got a full, uh, fully automatic system that will pull up a broken down dune buggy. And to get these ramps back up, all you do is flick them up. And they can't come down. Just flick them up. Can't come down. So it's a one finger latch. And then they flip up. Again, it's all designed. No copy. There are no blueprints. No designs of any kind for this trailer. Um, it's 100% my design. I know I say it a million times, but I'm pretty proud of some of the products that I've products projects that I've actually come up with. And since I got the camera running, I'm trying to dig out the, the, the again 
fully designed um, jack. What you're going to look at here is a fully CNC machine piece of aluminum and then I bent it to fit a, um, an airplane wheel. This has got to get mounted to the tongue. So I still need a tongue jack for this trailer. So when I disconnect it right now, sorry for the camera work, you unplug it, it just drops, right? There's nothing there holding it. So what I want to do is get this jack mounted to the front. And what's cool is it's all engineered with, uh, as I unscrew it, you should see the uh, telescopic part starting to move out. So what it actually does, seamlessly, it swivels, it spins, and then I've got this cool system with a long screw, and this part here actually swivels too, and you'll see it pull in. So I've got anti-rotate pins built into this. I machined out the aluminum tube, and it's like buttery smooth. So this is going to be my trailer jack. I still need to mount to this trailer, get it up front. i got to build a 90-degree mount so it stays like a real trailer, and then bring it down to support the tongue when it's ready. So once I get that all set up, it's going to be really sexy. I've been sitting on this thing for like two years, designing this from scratch. Again, no, no blueprints or anything. Even all the stuff you see up, fr up front here, none of this stuff was designed or copied from, from anything. So I just decided to make my own components. All machined, all perfectly counterboard, where I could counterboard the screws to make them subflush. Um, made the switch mount, the winch mount, and then uh, put the little module right there. So all these parts you see, like I said, in aluminum, have been cut, <coughs> excuse me, cut, beveled. Try to make it perfect as I can. All the lines match, all the radiuses match real nice. Um, the suspension is properly sprung. So I tried to design a trailer that would be very functional and haul my cars around and it works great. And I've actually did this about three years ago. So I've spent a lot of time trying to create and design things that no one else has ever done. Um, even if they have built trailers by other people, I want to do it my way. And I think this turned out pretty darn nice. Um, full aluminum trailer with a really sophisticated suspension system, which works really well. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, and that's until I get back to more boat projects. That's just some stuff for now. Thank you very much, and uh, appreciate it. Bye.